Well, again, we thank you for joining us. Uh, we are looking this week and next, maybe even a little bit further out than that, at the mysteries of God as found in the scriptures. And we began our our study yesterday by just explaining that these mysteries are things that are found in the New Testament that reveal the secrets of God. God has secrets. God, there are things that we don't know, things that we cannot know. And the only way we can understand these things is that God reveals them to us. And so the New Testament talks about some of these kinds of secrets, uh, these mysteries that have been revealed for us. Uh, there's at least 11 of those in the New Testament. Uh, the first one is found in Ephesians chapter 1, uh, verses 9 and 10, and it's called the mystery of his will. So let's take a look at those verses together. Verse 9, having uh, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he proposed in him, or purposed in him, for an administration of the fullness of time, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens, and things on the earth in him. So let's stop there for a moment and take a look at that. Here's a question that this particular revelation is going to, to address. The question is this, and the world's been asking this since the beginning of time. Where are we headed? Uh, what is our destiny? How does this all wrap up? How does it all end? Where does it go? And uh, the world is often in turmoil about those things. Uh, since the beginning of time, uh, at least since the beginning of the fall of humanity, uh, the, humanity has been at war with one another. Sometimes it's small skirmishes or just conflict between people. At other times, there's large, major wars going on in the world. And, and all these things cause us to question, why can't we get it together? Why is there all this conflict? Where, where's, where's it going to end? Are we going to destroy ourselves in some kind of a nuclear holocaust? Uh, what is the answer to that? And I, as I, even as I re, uh, re record this program today, uh, we are at, at great turmoil in the world right now. Not only do we have the, the normal issues that we see in the Middle East and we see in Afghanistan, we see in Africa and so forth, but now we have some major players who are making a lot of noise. Russia is uh, seemingly invading uh Ukraine, Ukraine, and China is always harping at Taiwan. Uh, these are big issues that could escalate into major wars. And so people say, why can't we figure this out? So we go back to uh, this passage of Scripture. And in verse 9, and it says, He's made known to us the mystery of His will. So notice about this a little bit. The answer is, one day everything is going to be united under Christ. The world will not end in a, in a nuclear holocaust. It will not end with us destroying one another. It will end one day united under Christ. And he, he talks about that. He says, this mystery of his will, according to the pleasure, the good pleasure, which he proposed in him. So we, we have the benevolence of God at play here, the good pleasure of him. Verse 10, for an administration of the fullness of the times. So now we're looking at a, a, this administration that comes about in the fullness of time. That is when God ordains it, when, when all the, the, the players are in the right position, when God wants it to happen in the fullness of time, something will take place. That is the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things on the earth in him. In other words, all these things are now going to come under the, the power and the leadership of Jesus Christ. Of course, right now, God is sovereign. He rules over all things. He controls all things. No, things. Nothing happens that he does not ordain or allow to happen. So nothing is out of his control. But he's orchestrating all things also for his good pleasure. He's orchestrating all things uh, to come uh, to a place ultimately that they come under uh, the full and obvious mastery of the Lord Jesus Christ. He masters now. He is the Lord over all things. But one day he sums up all things in Christ. And so while this world may have a lot of bumps along the way, some ups and downs, some horrible tragedies, uh, some minor skirmishes, all these things that perplex us. And these things do bother us, and these things are on our minds and are in our prayers, but we know ultimately the end game. We know that ultimately all things are summed up in Christ, and therefore we have the mystery of His will revealed to us. The world doesn't know this, 
And if they heard this, they wouldn't believe it. But Christ is orchestrating all things according to the good pleasure of himself under the leadership and the lordship of Jesus Christ himself. The mystery of his will. That solves a multitude of issues for you and I who believe it. We'll look at another mystery tomorrow. Hope you can join us.